What is so special about Felix Guattari, the nervy, gregarious psychotherapist, and Giles Deleuze, the reclusive professor? These French philosophers are known for six key concepts, rhizome, deterritorialization, pack multiplicities, schizoanalysis, desiring machines, and body without organs. What is the notion that underscores Deleuze and Guattari's attempt to derail modernist linear thinking? It is the construct called rhizome, which is a process of existence and growth that does not come from a single central point of origin. The authors Deleuze and Guattari have assigned this term rhizome, referring to a relation like that of roots. They spread underground with no direction, no beginning, and no end. It is opposed to the idea of a tree, which has a starting point, and from there branches out in a predictable path. In general, rhizome is an interaction system that follows no specific pattern or rules of organization. As insistent critiques of modern ideas, what idea did they develop? It is deterritorialization, or the eradication of social, political, or cultural practices from their native places and populations. In critical theory, Deterritorialization is the process by which a social relation, called a territory, has its current organization and context altered, mutated, or destroyed. The components then constitute a new territory, which is the process of re-territorialization. For example, when the Spanish colonized the Philippines, they deterritorialized the islands by eliminating local symbols, beliefs, and practices, and then re-territorialized by putting up their own beliefs and practices. How did Deleuze and Guattari distinguish between mass multiplicities and pack multiplicities? Government institutions and labor unions are examples of mass multiplicities. They have a rather significant number of members. The members are both divisible and equal. The concentration of form concentrates mass multiplicities. As a whole, the aggregate functions as a unit. A one-way hierarchy exists. Pack multiplicities, on the other hand, are rhizomatic forms. They are little or limited in number. They are distributed rather than centralized. They have no defined territory and are driven by an internal motivation. What was the philosophical concept that Deleuze and Guattari came up with that was interesting, remarkable, and unusual? It was schizoanalysis. The point of schizoanalysis is to critique challenge and reform. It stands against theory and methods, and resists totaling logics. The schizo is unconcerned with how others have ordered the world. The schizo is impervious to existing meaning and structure systems. The schizo endlessly builds his or her own meanings and systems. As a result, the schizo is anti-theoretical and untheorizable. Why did Deleuze and Guattari conceive human beings as desiring machines? Deleuze and Guattari defined humans, or human potential, as desiring machines. Since desire arises from a point before structure and representation, bodies are desiring machines, allowing ideas, feelings, and desires to flow in and out. Desire is similar to a machine. Both are beneficial. An engine generates torque, which generates speed and movement. A desiring machine generates sexual energy. What is Deleuze and Guattari's notion of the body without organs? The body without organs refers to reorganizing the way in which the body is given meaning. The notion of the body without organs can help to counter normative ideas of what a body should look like. Deleuze and Guattari distinguish philosophy, science, and the arts as means of confronting chaos. They contradict the widely held beliefs that philosophy is an extension of logic. Well, that's a wrap on this video. We hope you found it informational. And if you did, make sure to press the like button and show some love by sharing this video. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to our channel to check out more mini lessons and summaries on educational topics. If you have any questions or comments, please write them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for your service, educators. Until the next time, bye-bye.